Hello and welcome everyone to codeandpractice.com. In this video tutorial I will explain to you how to download and install the JDK for the Windows platform. As you can see that I already have my JDK installer downloaded. <coughs> uh, for you, you must first uh, go to a website and this is the name of the website and the link is given in the description box below. Scroll down to this section and uh, click on accept license agreement and then there are two possible downloads for Windows. If you're on the 32-bit machine, download this one and if you're on a 64-bit machine, just download this one. Uh, I'm on a 64-bit machine, so I've downloaded this one and it is resting on my desktop right now. So let me just double-click this and let me launch the installer. Click on yes. And there we have the installer. Now let us click next to begin the installation and uh, we want all these three things we want the development tools we also want the source code and we want the public jre or the java runtime environment so we'll click next and uh, notice that this is the location of where it will be installed if you want to change this you can click the change button and change it by clicking this and just selecting the place where you want to keep it but I'm happy with this so I'm just going to click OK and uh, click next over here. The installation will begin. It is asking for where I want to install my JRE or the Java Runtime Environment. Uh, I'm happy with this, so I'll just click next. You can change it if you want to, but I won't suggest that. And uh, there's another reason why you should be learning Java. 3 billion devices run Java. And it says that the JDK has been successfully installed. I'll click continue because it is asking me. And now it shows up another installer, which is the Java FX SDK setup, which uh, I don't really want right now. So I'll just click cancel and just click yes. And uh, what the installer will do now is launch a product registration page. And uh, if you wish to register a product, just uh, go to that page and but I don't want to so I just closed it right now um, so let's launch the command window right now now to do development work we need two programs most importantly which is which are uh, Java and Java C so let's check if both of them are installed and available to us from the command line Uh, if I just call Java C, it will just invoke the Java compiler. The compiler is the program which we'll use to compile our Java programs to bytecode. Uh, but I'll call the dash version. I'll use the dash version switch, which will just give me uh, the version of Java C. And if it gives me the version of Java C, it will mean that it is installed. So I click enter, but it says that Java C is not recognized as an internal external command. Now let's do the same thing for the Java command as well. Uh, the Java command is installed and is configured correctly. It, uh, it can be accessed from anywhere on the command prompt, but we have an issue with the Java C. So to resolve this issue, we need to edit something called a path environment variable. Now how do we edit a path environment variable? First of all, let's launch our explorer. So let me just launch explorer. Over here, just go to desktop and on the computer, just click, just right click and go to properties. As you'll see that a window will open up on the left hand side, click on advanced system settings. Another window will pop up. Now in this window, you must click on the environment variables tab. 
as you can see it's right over here click this and well yet another window opens up and uh, just scroll down and you'll see the path variable over here just select this and click edit and another window opens up and now you know why it's called windows <coughs> just go to the end by clicking the end key on your keyboard as you can see the cursor is now at the very end and now what we need to do is copy in the path to our Java C program so <coughs> let me just uh, go back to our Explorer and let me show you where the installation has taken place it was in the program files under Java and as you can see that there is the JDK 1.7 installed over here here's the folder <coughs> inside this we have the bin folder let's go into that and as you can see that there are many applications now these are very critical applications that we'll be using during the uh, course of our training over here so as you can see that there are many but we are interested in two uh, java is correctly configured here's the java program that we uh, were calling from the command line as you can see it is correctly configured but uh, we want to configure the java c and we would also like if we can call all these other uh, programs. So to do that, just go over to your address bar and click right over here in the empty space and the path to this program Java C will be highlighted. Click Ctrl C to copy it or copy it however you wish and then close this and then as we know that the cursor is over here, let's just paste that path over here. Do Ctrl V and click OK click OK over here and click OK over here close this window and let's check if we have Java C installed it still says that it cannot recognize that command but all we need to do is just restart the command line so let's just do that let's bring this into view and let's check if we have Java C correctly configured And there you see we have it correctly configured because it is now showing us the version. So that's it for installing the JDK on the Windows platform. Thank you for viewing.